It took a couple extra days, but Kurt Busch was able to win for the second time in three races in Brooklyn, Michigan. Hi, I'm Amber Wilson, and welcome to the BF Goodrich NASCAR Report here on CBSSports.com. It's quite odd to watch NASCAR in the middle of the week, but after two washouts Sunday and Monday, plus a fog delay on Tuesday, Kurt Busch finally took that checkered flag. He becomes the fourth repeat winner in the 2007 Cup. He joins Hendrick Motorsports teammates Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. They have four wins apiece on the season, but Gordon hasn't won since June and Johnson not since May. Then there's Tony Stewart, who has been hot as of late with three wins in the last five races. As you can see, that winning on the Nextel Cup this year hasn't really been a function of good qualifying. Of the repeat winners, only Jeff Gordon has sat at the pole this season. With Tuesday's win in Michigan, Bush is a little more comfortable with his hold on the 12th overall spot in the chase for the championship. The last three drivers remain that way after Michigan, with Martin Truex Jr. finishing second behind Bush in Brooklyn. Dale Jr. climbed a little closer to that 12th and final spot with a 12th place finish, but he still got a lot of ground to cover in a very short period of time. And we bring in our president, NASCAR expert Pete Pistoni, to the program. And with just three races left, Pete, is there enough time for Jr. to get back into the chase, or is the field pretty much set? Well, you know what, Amber? I think the field is set. I don't think Jr. is going to be able to make it here in the next three races. If he continues, especially to make the mistakes both from the team standpoint and from his own standpoint that has happened to that number eight squad for the last three weeks. Two blown engines, uh, that is obviously the engine department's problems and giving Junior bad motors. Uh, and then this past week, Junior making the mistake at Michigan on pit road, uh, a miscue that he said was his fault, but he cannot continue to make those mistakes. I don't think he's going to make it, and I think for the second time in three years, NASCAR's playoffs are going to go on without its most popular di driver in Dale Earnhardt Jr. Okay, and behind Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch is the hottest driver in Cup racing right now. If he gets into the chase, can the number two car win it all? Well, I definitely think Kurt Busch has a chance. I mean, again, here's a former champion, a 2004 champion, and he's going into the chase with the momentum. And the chase format is very much like, I think, other professional sports. And let's take baseball, for instance. The wild card team who has the momentum in the playoffs can go and win the World Series. We saw it happen uh, the last couple of years. We saw a team in St. Louis last year, the Cardinals, who didn't have a lot of wins, uh, get a lot of momentum going into the playoffs and win the World Series. I think the same thing can happen here in the chase. I think Kurt Busch is on the momentum that he needs right now, and once we get going, he can make a run and win his second championship. All right, Pete, the cup moves into a familiar place, Bristol, Tennessee, this week, but it won't exactly be the same down there. What kind of changes can we expect? Well, there's a brand new concrete surface at Bristol Motor Speedway, and the testing that we've heard that has gone on down there at that high bank, the uh, half mile racetrack, and some of the short track racing that we've seen go on down there shows us that it's going to have a big effect on the Cup Series uh, Saturday night. We're going to see two and maybe three wide racing in Thunder Valley. That's going to make things pretty exciting, and it's been kind of a single file parade the last few years on the old concrete service. I think this is going to really add some new uh, drama to this coming Saturday night's Sharpie 500. All right, and knowing all of that, Pete, who do you think are the cars to beat this week? Well, again, also remember this is a car of tomorrow race. When we were there back in the spring, uh, Kyle Busch won the very first car of tomorrow race. I don't expect the Hendrick guys, he, Jimmy Johnson, or Jeff Gordon, to not be in the mix. I think Tony Stewart's going to be there. I think Dale Jr. likes Bristol. He'll bounce back. But Kurt Busch has owned that racetrack for the last few years, and now the momentum he's on, the two-car can make a run. I think we're going to have the best race of the year so far Saturday night down in Thunder Valley. All right. Thanks a lot, as always, Pete. We look forward to hearing from you this weekend from Tennessee. And don't forget to come back next week when we preview California. But for now, if you missed anything here on the BF Goodrich NASCAR Report, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson.